Right, so where are we going? Right, in this video, we're <laughs> off to Dunstaffnage Castle. Right I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> and it's about a 10 minute drive. <laughs> and it doesn't yeah. open until half nine. Half nine, and it's nine o'clock. Well, it's not going well, to be too early then. It looks like it's got quite a big car park. So. Yeah. Now, we, we like going to castles because. Poppy likes going. Well, Poppy likes them. This is one of the. Um, it's got no roof, so she's allowed in, basically. Unless it's got. Lit into, she's not allowed in the areas where there is a roof. No. I don't know what they think she's going to do when she sees a roof, but <laughs> no matter. Right. <laughs> this is way, way above her, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, this is one of the videos <clears throat> that few of our regular viewers don't watch. That's right, yeah. And we think they're missing out on a real treat. I think history is really important. Yeah. It, uh, it tells us a lot about where we come from, where we live, and what we're like. Yeah, that's right. I think, think for me, I think because I've brought up in St Albans with all the, the history there, you know, we, we were always doing it at learning about it at school, you know, that yeah. this is where we came from. And I, yeah. every time I go to an area, I sort of like to know, well, why did people settle here? Who were they? And yeah. Yeah. what role did this area play in history, mainly in the yeah. history of Scotland, obviously, here? Yeah. So, so hopefully we'll find out a bit about that when, when we get there. Yeah. looks like they're building something on the side here. I don't know if it's that's uh, meant to be a, a walkway for pedestrians. See this thing here? Oh, yeah. Or whether that's maintenance access, I don't know. I think it's... Hmm. I don't know, it looks, it goes all the way along, doesn't it? Yeah. It is a bit dangerous walking along here, I suppose. Or... Well, that's what I thought, you know, covered by a coach wing mirror or something. Yeah. Especially, you know, are supposed to walk the bike and I think walking the bike would be more blooming dangerous than cycling. You're a wider target. Yeah. You can cycle to Oban that way. Turn left onto A85. Crean Larry to the right. Oban to the left. I told you it's not very far. Poppy's shop there. Yeah. So we're going here. Turn right onto Dunstaffordshire Castle. It's mm. Dunstaffordshire Marina. Marina. That's not it. Oh. Didn't want to go in the marina. No. Oh, there's a brown sign coming up. That's why you've got to watch her, haven't you? Yeah. Because she's going to the marina. Well, it just goes to the postcode, and there's an assumption then that that's where you go. Ah, here we are, on Staffnage Castle. I was always told not to... not to ride on the white lines, but there you go. We're going the same way. That's the worst thing about riding a bike on the road is when you want to turn right, you yes. have to look over your shoulder. Yeah. <coughs> and you know, you, you, sort of, you can lose your balance just doing that. Yes. And, and then you find you've got a car on your bumper about three inches away from it. Where is this castle? <laughs> well, I think it now goes down to this road and this this looked the narrow a bit. Yeah. And I think the whole of this road was like this originally. Yeah. Scottish Association for Marine Science. Do, 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 
Oh, this is the car park. Gates locked at 5.30. You're okay this side. Where should we put ourselves? Over there, somewhere, do you think? On Staffordshire Castle. <laughs> Give it a go. It's done Staff Midge Castle, a bulwark in the struggle for the west coast of Scotland. Good harbour here, aren't there? There's loads of boats. Yeah. Those are the ones I could see when we were coming around the coast. I don't know if I recorded it when we got here. Just as I got back into the van <laughs> after checking how close I was to the back, I just got stung on the arm. Yeah, and so that's your, your thumbnail, is it? I thought, ow! The wasp. Yeah, wasp disaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does sting. Oh, if I know, you, you forget how much they sting. I know, horrible. I'll put some um, sting relief on it and a plaster, so I'll probably come and You'll find the arm brave, swollen. And it's yeah. my vlogging arm as well. <laughs> <laughs> Hazards of van life, eh? <laughs> Oh, there it is. <laughs> Apologies if there's any rustling. We've both got our coats on, so we don't know what the weather's going to do. Though, is it? It's spitting a little bit now. Here's the castle. No drones. Just as well you didn't let me get that drone. <laughs> you got me? Yeah, we're about 10 minutes early, so. Uh, Impressive looking thing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it is a bit on the, uh, isn't it? So we sort of <laughs> lean over that way, maybe. Well, the whole horizon leveling should help. Should it? Okay. Mm. Yeah, here's the harbour. You see how useful this might have been for castle defences. Yes. Or castle re resupply. Supplies, yeah. Oh, perhaps some railway. Yeah, well, let's park that railway near us. Yeah, probably for cranes or something. Yeah, a nice little harbour. Someone setting out for the day? We had set on some rocks, wasn't it? Built into to like a rock there. A little bit outside there. We noticed uh, inside there's some windows up there, so they must have built a house later on inside. There we are again. It says, Welcome to the Dunstaffnage Castle. Mm -hmm. In the mid 1100s, Norway controlled Scotland's western seaboard. <coughs> Somerled, a Gaelic Norse warlord, ruled the Kingdom of the Isles, including Argyll, when he died in 1164, his lands were divided among his sons, his grandson, mm -hmm. uh, Donna, built Dunstaffnish Castle about 1220. Scott's strongholds witnessed much of Western Scotland's turbulent history, it remains in the hands of the Cla Campbell clan, still watching over the waters of the Western Sea. It's largely built from local sandstone and its shape was dictated by the outcrop of rock on which it stands. Dark conglomerate is composed of pebbles and gravel cemented together 400 million years ago. Wow. Towers are added soon after the castle was built and the walls were rendered with protective lime render called Harling. A bit of a timeline there. Look at the brutal a siege to Dunstaffnage. James III granted the castle to the Campbells and Flora MacDonald was held here after helping Bonnie Prince Charles escape. Quite a bit of history there. Can't wait to get up these steps. Come on, Pop. The lady in the shop said that dogs are allowed in, but they've got to be careful on the spiral staircases because some dogs are a bit worried by that. Poppy. <laughs> Poppy. <laughs> Poppy. <laughs> Poppy. Poppy, wait, please. Right, 
just a minute. You can see it's quite a climb already to the first floor. It's on three floors. And there is a chapel here as well. But what an impressive building. In we go. A bit dark in here. Ooh. It's obviously the gatehouse. A bit imposing. Yeah. Go on then, Pops, take us around. And Quite's there. <laughs> You're around in circles. Well, she's taking it all in, aren't you? I'm hot in this coat. Yeah. Well, that's why I didn't put a jumper on. It must have been a sort of a, a house built onto the side there. I'll go up here. Probably says go up here. Like a little ru uh, room in there. Yeah. Well, it's a bit slippy. It's though. slippy, yeah, because it's been wet. Bobby, shall we have a read of the board? Do you like it here? Oh, more stairs, she says, so we can't go up those ones. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> there, they cut, shut those off. Panicking now. You've got your court around this, bloody. <laughs> Here. Oh, that's it. Got that? Got it, yeah. On the board here. So this is the courtyard, heart of a busy, well-defended community. One time there was a drawbridge just to uninvited visitors getting in. Castle in the year 1500s and only a fortress, it was a family home, home of the ruling family, guest house, barracks, state office, court of law, prison. It's no wonder the courtyard was a hive of activity. Supply of fresh water was essential, particularly if a siege was threatened. Well, we can see it was dug in the 1100s from an earlier fort. Supplied by an underground spring, it was secure from contamination by an attacking force. Okay, things like things they found here, silver coin and copper brooch, date from the 1200s, found in the castle in 2008. Uh, that's a scene, how uh, it might have looked, uh, Middle Ages, presumably. Yeah. So that's the well, have you seen it? No. It's right in front of you. Well, I know, I've seen... <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. I've never quite seen one like that before. Square, isn't it? Yeah. Got water in it as well. And these uh, like castle turrets. <laughs> yeah, little turrets around corner. the well. Yeah. <laughs> now it's obviously built later, isn't it? The, bill, the house there. Hmm. Right, pal. Okay, let's get down. Right. right some steps, pops. That's a bit disappointing, isn't it, Pops? It gives you a bit of a view. Oh, fireplace here. Two fireplaces. Big old windows there. Another fireplace over there. And that was obviously the kitchen down there. Wow. So there was a house here, built in 1725 on the 13th century northwest range. Oh yeah, Poppy's going in the kitchen. Duck here. Whoop, Poppy. <laughs> pigeon, hey. pigeon den there now. Weren't you in there? I love these fireplaces, look at them. Look at the designs on the back. So it was 17th century then? 1725. 18th century then? Yeah. Cool. It says the gatehouse was built around 1500, replacing an earlier entrance to two upper floors, added a century later. We're going along the upper floors by the looks of it. Oops, wait a minute. Let's see where you're going then. <laughs> oh. 
Go on, not, not in there. Full of midges in there, my looks of it. Okay. We'll play snakes and ladders in here. Oh, God. The jester has lost their juggling balls. Their wife is too sick to make beer. <laughs> the lady's maid has fallen into the well. A feast. The cook orders some fine wines and spices for the kitchen. Well, this looks like a 17th century or... Yeah. Um, Can you so read it's it? it's built, built in the 1400s, though. OK. Uh, it's by fire. Waiting. Yeah, it says the um, captains of the castle stayed until the castle was devastated by fire in 1810. Though from 1725 they lived in the new house across the courtyard. Okay. So these are the rooms you can see sticking out then, are they? No. No, no, be higher no that'd up, be isn't way it? up the top. Yeah. <coughs> oh, blind it, Poppy. Get impatient then. <coughs> you and okay. Poppy are going up those stairs. Okay. Cool. Go on then. <laughs> Slowly. Not so bad, Jen. A little bit about the Campbells here. This is in 1469, James III granted Lordship of Lorne and the captaincy of Dunstaffnage to Colin Campbell, the first Earl of Argyle, built this gatehouse and to guard the entrance to the castle. Royal command obliged the captain of Dunstaffnage to keep the castle ready for war, with the garrison of armed and armed and armoured men. The Campbells attacked their Macdonald's neighbours, survived a civil war siege by a royalist army in 1644, and supported the monarchy during the Jacobite Risings, and they still own the castle today. We found there, Pop, something to eat? No, you've got to cook it yourself. Oh, that's no good, is it? It's all the plastic. The cauldrons, and you've got to uh, decide <coughs> what you'd cook in it. Have you ever cooked in a cauldron? <coughs> Shush! <coughs> Poppy. War walk. I'm going to be get up there. It's quite steep, that. You can do it. Wow. <laughs> quite a view. Got to watch these steps. They sort of go up and down. Yeah. Quite amazing. These are the these are the windows we can see poking above the castle walls. A little sort of drain here, so you've got to be watching your step. All right, pups. <coughs> yeah, okay, it's good, isn't it? Another bit about the history there. Yeah. John Balliol and Robert the Bruce. Okay. Can I read it? Yeah. Okay. The royal mm -hmm. arrivals. Then Staffnage attracted the attention of Scottish kings, keen to establish their authority. Alexander II came here to capture the castle, but died on the way. Alexander III, his son, won the support of his lord, Ewan MacDougall, without firing an arrow. And during the Wars of Independence, Ian, uh, Ian Echon's grandson sided with supporters of the exile king, John Balliol, against Robert the Bruce. Bruce defeated the MacDougall army here, at the, near here, at the Pass of Brander in 1308, and laid siege to Dunstaffnage. Ancestral home of the MacDougalls passed into royal hands for the next 150 years. Also a little bit about the Jacobite heroine, Flora MacDonald, to save the life of Bonnie Prince Charles after the Battle of Culloden by disguising him as her maid when they sailed over the sea to Skye. She was captured and held prisoner here in 1476 but transported to London and later released. 
There's a QR code if you want to scan that. And to hear Walter Scott's reflection on Does Daphne's Castle when he visited in 1814. When he marvelled at the castle's ancient history, Scott found the ruins in poor repair. Here is wish that more be done to preserve the castle from further decline. Behind the walls, this wall walk gave defenders a view right round the castle, obviously. West Tower accommodated the guests' favourite um, visitors on the main floor. So where's the West Tower? That's two, isn't it? Two, over there. West Tower over there. Uh, the new house was built in 1725 for Anus Campbell, daughter of, uh, the captain of Dunstaffnage, held the castle for his clan chief, the Earl of Argyle. The well was dug in 1100 to provide fresh water. The donjon, the largest tower, dates from 1250, so that's five. So that's over there. So that's in a bit of a ruin. No, it's that, it's not that. No, uh, it's, it's five, isn't it? It's there. All right, okay. Yeah, it's that bit of, that sticks up over there. Okay. Uh, the Great Hall, six, which is there. There. Um, lost it now. Connected with the Lord's apartment and was the castle's most important room. You can see fine windows from the outside. And obviously the gatehouse. The curtain wall is 3.5 metres thick. <laughs> it's like a character, doesn't it? Yeah, aristocratic, aristocratic dispute. In 1908, the captain wanted to restore and live in the castle. Duke of Argyle below a disagreed and a court ruled in the favour of the captain. Soon after the captain was taken prisoner in the First World War, by this time the roof of his new house had collapsed and its dormer windows were moved to the gate. Gatehouse. There's a little bit here, a hidden haven. Still sh Castle and Peninsula still sheltered down Staffnage Bay from the worst of the westerly winds. It also hid moored vessels from the view of potential attackers. For several hundred years, Norway's kings ruled Scotland's northern and western isles, much of the west coast, and they appointed local, uh, local kings of the isle to rule the territory from the Hebrides to the Isle of Man. The mighty Somerled was the last of these great warlords. Descendants of the MacDougals took sides alternately with the Scottish and Norwegian kings until the Treaty of Perth in 1266 granted the western seaboard to Scotland. And Staffnage's commanding view over the sea and along the road from the Pass of Brand made it a highly prized strategic fortress. I can't imagine that. Obviously, relied on transport by sea at a postern gate so that they could receive supplies from vessels. McDougal's would have enjoyed wines from Europe and spices from the east. Calleys were beached in Dunstaffnage Bay below for protection from the winter weather and for repair. A noosed from Old Norse was a simple form of dry dock where carpenters could work on a damaged, damaged Berlin. Okay. Probably says that's disappointing. Probably could probably go down there. I think the structure's no longer safe. Right, up we go, Pops. Up here. Come on. No, right, this, way. Going this way. Come on. Up. Up. Let's keep the kids amused. Two in the morning, I guess. Right, so it says Dougal, Duncan MacDougall, Duncan, <laughs> Duncan MacDougall, <laughs> builder of Dunstaffnage, supported the Norse claim to Scotland's western seaboard, as did his son. Eventually, though, Alexander III ousted the Norsemen, and in 1266 came under Scottish control. By then, Ewing had switched allegiances to the Scots. In the wars of independence, they fought against Robert the Bruce after he seized the throne in 1306. Their army was defeated at the Pass of Brenda. We've already read that, haven't we? Get the impression this roof's fairly new, don't you? It does look fairly new, yeah. It's not yeah. 13th century. Yeah. You could live in here, couldn't you? Yeah. 
Probably not going to build an arch then. I'll get it wrong, it'd be embarrassing. <laughs> that was the castle. There's a little chapel here as well. So I think it's round past this arch. Walk in the woods as well. <laughs> On the on the wall and graves. Okay, we can go in here. Yeah. It's strange. I wonder what what was on the monument before. It's whatever it was. It's gone, hasn't it? So it's a little. It says Lady Campbell, doesn't it? It says what? Side. I thought it said Lady Campbell. Okay. There was a little statue of her or something. Yeah. And then from the other side, presumably. We're not allowed in here for some reason, I don't know why. Well, the better is a lot of burials because there's. Well, I suppose so, yeah. Yeah, some are quite recent there. There's yeah. a 1988. This is one of the finest chapels of its time. And you can see many of its architectural features, a simple nave. Windows provide a little light for congregation, but the chancel and altar would have been awash with sunlight during the summer services. The chancel windows have been have wide splayed arches on the inside, ornamented with dog tooth carvings, like the doorways would have been elaborately carved, but only fragments remain. The chapel had no burial rites, and so MacDougall family were probably interred on the Isle of Lismore near Oban, which boasted the Cathedral of St Molag of the Pres Protestant Reformation of 1560 and the Campbells were masters of Dunstaffnage. They built a burial aisle in the east gable of this chapel and filled it with memorials of members of their family. The chapel was divided by a simple, simple timber rude screen held in place by sockets in the north and south walls and the family worshipped in the chancel where the main altar stood. The nave where you are now was used by the local people. 1231 Duncan MacDougall invited monks from Dijon in eastern France to set up a priory at Erd Chatain, Ard Chatain. The church later became a burial place for Campbells and served the parish until 1732. The ruins are six miles from here and they contain finely carved medieval stones. Okay. There she is. No, you're not going down there. Worry people when you do that. I think you're worrying Tara. <laughs> worrying Tara? Yeah, I think so. Well, I was always worried when Poppy got too near. Yeah. I think where that was. Bit of Versailles. Oh, Versailles, yeah. Well, we've seen some castles, haven't we? We have. Yeah. And some chapels. And some palaces. <laughs> and if you like... Um, Seeing old ruins. <laughs> what did someone call them? the camera. Antiques, somebody <laughs> Antiques, called them. Antiques, yeah. I don't yeah. know if they're talking about us or <laughs> places we visit. Then I'm just, just saying that I think English heritage membership is definitely worth it. Or Scottish, uh, or historic Scotland. Ireland, yeah. Yeah. Or the I'm, Welsh one. Or the Welsh one. And either three you can are interchangeable, aren't they? So you yes. get free membership, uh, whichever one you join. Yeah. I think the Scottish one used to be cheaper. I don't know if it still is, but... Don't know, you know, without double and quadruple checking. Well, if you enjoyed this little video about Dunstaffnage Castle, I hope that's the way you pronounce it, and give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It really, really does help. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. So thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Bye then. Bye then.